Series versus parallel circuits is fairly straightforward and most students don't have issues with this, but if you're watching this, maybe you weren't here for this part. So series versus parallel circuits are very straightforward. Series circuits are basically all electrons in a circuit can only flow through, they only have one option of where they can go. So all current flows through the same Uh, path. There's only one path for that current to flow, whereas parallel, um, the idea is that there are multiple paths, two or more, it doesn't matter. Anything more than one is a, is a parallel. And so um, often they like to ask, why would you do one over the other? Usually it's why parallel is better. So one of the th big things with parallel is that all components get the same voltage. They don't get the same current, but they get the same voltage. Okay. Um, the obvious one is if one part of the circuit breaks, then the rest of them are still intact. So if you have a bunch of light bulbs and six of them are hooked up, if they're hooked up in series, if one of those light bulbs break, the other five go out. But if they're hooked up in parallel, the other five are still burnt, um, uh, are still functional. So the others still work. Uh, the other thing about parallel circuits is that you can function independently. So you can have light switches or switches that control just one part of the, um, of the circuit. Um, there's not a lot of reasons why series might be better than parallel, uh, but you could say that you can control um, a whole series of like a multitude of lights or other components with a single switch, which technically is possible in parallel as well, but it's the only thing that, about, that might be an advantage about series. Um, the other thing about uh, parallel is that, so if I have, just let me draw a quick um, circuit here in parallel. Okay. Um, the idea is that how does the current flow, right? So if I have current, which leaves the positive here, and this current is say three amps, okay? In a series, it doesn't matter. All current follows the same path, so it would be three amps everywhere, all right? But here, the idea is that it's three amps here and it's three amps when it returns to the battery, all right? But here, it could be different but they still have to add up to three. So for example, if this is one amp here, then this one would have to be, it would have two amps flowing through it, all right? Now the voltage that each one receives would be the same, but um, the idea is that, that, that each of them are receiving the same voltage, but the, the amps itself, the current could be different. You do not need to know for IGCC level, you do not need to understand why at different parts of the parallel circuit, you might have different current. You need to know that it can be different, even as long as it adds up to the total, but you don't need to understand why 